bridging, bringing Charlotte together by bridging the gap. His parents named him Lawrence. We all know him as Larry. Larry Shaheen Jr. A great American author once said, said that the test of a first-rate intellect is the ability to hold two opposing ideas in your mind at the same time and still function. That author was F. Scott Fitzgerald, the individual who wrote The Great Gatsby. When he wrote that actual quote, what he meant was compromise, the ability to look at ideas through the scope of someone else's eyes. Compromise was once revered in the United States. It was something that we worked for. It was something that we wanted. It was something to be attained because it let our government function. Yet now, when you look at compromise, it's something that's to be reviled, something that we don't want. Because if you compromise, you're weak. You're not able to work with your party, and you're not able to get things done. But that's not the truth. Because we are there sitting there listening to individuals say that compromise is not important. But when we allow compromise to be absent from the national scene, the consequences nationally can mean divisiveness that is almost dangerous. We can no longer continue to allow this lack of compromise to permeate our national scene and our local scene because we're not going to be able to get things done. And folks, that's what we want. We want to get things done because otherwise we can't function. When you look at our city today, Mecklenburg County, we are divided more than we've ever been because we have allowed the lack of compromise and the lack of understanding and the lack of individuals looking at each other to divide us, to let us go astray. We are divided by a gap in understanding that unfortunately means we don't look at other people as human beings. We look at them as enemies, and we don't try to understand what it is that they want. But when you actually look across the aisle, and you actually look at what they want, a lot of us all want the same thing. We want a good job. We want a great education, and we want a family to go home to. We want the things that all of us strive for, that all of us desire. But when you actually want those things, you're going to argue on how you get there. You're always going to try and fight and try and find a way to argue about the car you drive in to get to that goal. So folks, if the problem is a lack of understanding, how do we work together? How do we work together as a city and as a county and as a nation to be able to bridge that gap in understanding and try to work towards bridging that gap and actually getting together, looking at each other across the way and saying, I may not agree with you on everything, but I can agree with you on about 80 to 90% of what you want, and we are willing to work together to find ways to get those things done. Well, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we have to humanize the discussion. We have to get involved in great groups like the Charlotte Junior Chamber, like the Mecklenburg County Young Republicans and Young Democrats. We have to go out and find exactly what it is that those who don't think like us actually think and not let others tell us what they think. Because when you actually go out and return to respectful dialogue and actually go out and say, I respect what you have to say and I want to know what it means, we can then return to compromise on an individual level which then allows us to return to compromise on a national level, which is its rightful location. We have to be able to get things done because, folks, we are not able to function as a nation or as a legislative body or as a group without getting things done because the government and the media is going to continue to try to drive ratings, which is not something that we as a nation can afford to have. We have to find a way to bring our leaders together, folks. Look at the folks up here. We've got some new leaders here locally. We've got excellent leaders here, uh, here in our city, like City Council Member Warren Cooksey, who is in our audience, those who listen, those who try to care. And we have got to bring those leaders together and help them understand that we all stand and work together. Abraham Lincoln said it best, united we stand or divided we will fall, and we cannot continue to be divided because, folks, we play for the same team. We are all on the same team. We are all working together to achieve the same goals, which is happiness, success. We are trying to make our country great and the lives of those who live here great. And unless we bridge this gap, unless we stand together and work towards a goal of actually going out into our community using the wonderful tools of social media and coming together and finding ways to move forward into the next generation, 
What is going to happen is that we are going to perish on either side of the gap of understanding because we will not have been able to come together. Now, folks, I want to say thank you very much for coming. I want to say thank you very, very much for listening to all these wonderful speakers. And I'm going to borrow a line from a North Carolina native, Ed Morrow, to end this speech. Good night, Charlotte. Good night, Raleigh. Good night, Durham. Good night, everyone listening. And good luck. Thank you. <laughs>